Listen, when your doctor tells you that he wants to bump you up from 125 milligrams of tea to 200 milligrams, you should listen to him because otherwise you'll be on your second week of tea going, hmm, where were all those fantastic changes that I was experiencing at the beginning of the first week last time? They're not there. Your voice isn't really going down and you're not that hungry and your energy levels are kind of mad because you're used to it now. So if your doctor tells you that you should take more tea, you should listen to him. Um, it was a choice. It was a choice uh, because Ugh, cat fur and more cat fur. Um, it was a choice mainly because I am going to be starting a new job and I don't know how they'd react to me being trans so I'm just you know gonna keep that on the down low and that does mean taking changes slowly. Um, oh hi ball of fur. I have a cat. Um, but on the other hand oh my god. Hi sweet boy. My sweet boy. Yeah? Yeah? It's a kitty. I have a soft boy. Um, so, God, what was I even saying? I can't remember. I was distracted by cat. Um, something about work. Uh, so yeah, even though I like I really do want the changes though, I don't know. Like, I guess I'll see how the rest of this week goes. <sighs> it's difficult because like I am hella impatient. Like part of me feels like I have been waiting for this for 33 years. And now that I've figured out, like it's this answer, you know, it's, it's not like this is a sudden thing that has suddenly appeared to me. It's like, I've been trans my whole life and I've had this question that has just gone unanswered. Like what the hell is wrong with me? And now I have an answer and it's like, oh yep, yeah, no, that's, that's definitely what it is. Okay. Well, let's make the changes. And then every time I remember that like people might have a problem with it, it's just like, Oh God, I have to deal with that, you know? Like it, it's basically other people making their problem into my problem and I'm like, but that's a you thing. That's not a me thing. That's a you thing. Oh my God, I have the softest little kitty cat. He's so sweet. See, cats don't care. Cats are like, I don't care as long as you scratch my, my little ears. Cats don't care as long as they get head scratches and chin scratches and nose scratches apparently, because they're weird. But yeah, so the whole thing with that is just like, I constantly am reminded that other people will take it upon themselves to make their personal problems into my problem. And it's like, but I, I don't want to deal with your problem. Like I would just like to deal with my problems because they don't affect you. But other people are like, no, if, if you are this thing, then, you know, we might have to like not give you a job or fire you or kick you out of your apartment. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what the consequences would be. I don't know what people's prejudices are until I am suffering the consequences of their prejudices. And that is very obnoxious. Um, that so many elements of my life are going to be determined by other people being stupid. <sighs> but it is what it is. Um, so I'm just going to take it slow, I guess. And you know, honestly, I'll see where this week gets me. And then at the end of the week, I'll go back to the doctor and I will decide at that point if I want to stay at 125 or go to 200. It'll really come down to my mood. Honestly, not even the changes, it'll come down to my mood. There is definitely a difference in my mood and like my zen. Um, when I'm on tea, like yesterday I went out to Harajuku and it was not like Saturday busy, but it was busy and the trains were like really, really crowded at the end because I was heading home during rush hour and just there were a lot of things that would have just knocked me over the edge in any other case and to find myself dealing with a lot of irritants and frustrations and stressors 
and just not get as bothered by it as usual, that was quite nice. Do you want to see the cat? No, that's a dumb question. Of course you want to see the cat. You want to see the cat. That's a cat. So much cat. Little, little foot's fallen off. Is your foot falling off, buddy? He says, no, I want to be round. He likes to be round. He likes to be round. This is his spot. Um, so, I do notice that even when I'm tired and stressed and just like, there's just, just these tiniest little things that would just completely destroy me emotionally, just like, oh God, I have to deal with this one more thing and I can't. And that, that was just constant. I was just constantly on the edge of a nervous breakdown because I realized I needed to charge my um, bus pass. Like that was just it. And so it is marvelous to uh, not be doing that constantly. Um, today I had to talk about like my health insurance and taxes and all this crap that I'm gonna have to deal with potentially myself after I quit this job. And it was terrifying as fuck. And it was really nice to be in a mood where I felt like I could handle shit because otherwise I don't, I don't know, man. This is a lot to handle when you don't feel like you can handle shit. So the mood factor, um, I remember last week I was getting depressed by like Friday and then Saturday I was a hot mess. So it's not going to come down to changes. I think it's gonna come down to mood because if I'm emotionally a good place, I can handle what's going on. And if I'm not in a good place emotionally, I cannot handle what's going on. Like it's, it's just that. So I'm going to see how my mood goes in the coming week and see how the changes go in the coming week. And from there decide next week if I want to do 125 or go up to 200. Um, but yeah, just, just a lot of little factors that are gonna come down to it. I just, I wanna be done with it. Like I wanna be done with it tomorrow. I wanna be done with all of the changes and top surgery and have a beard and you know, be all muscly and denser bones and be heavier and like name changed, gender changed, passport changed, resident card changed. Like I just, you know, I want to be out. I want it to be done and not have to do it in stages. I don't want to have to be like coddling people, holding people's hands and like, I don't, I don't want to do any of it. Um, but the genuine alternative is clinical depression. Um, and I don't want to say suicidal, but you know, let's just, I don't know. Cause I was definitely headed down a dark road. So the alternative to this, I don't know, but it's not, it wasn't life. It wasn't anything good. So all of this frustration and this trouble and just this dealing with this shit, this is a preferable alternative to how I've been living the last 33 years. This is better than that. So I will take it. Um, and when it gets rough, I got a cat who hopefully, I, I don't think any of my body odor has changed yet. That is a thing that happens, but I, I hope he still loves me when I smell weird. He gives me a yucky face if he doesn't like the smell of something. So hopefully he does not give new stinky daddy a yucky face. Don't give me a yucky face when you smell my new manly pits, buddy. Don't give me a yucky face. I can probably just bribe him with food and walks and we'll be good. Yeah, simple cat. Cool, all right, well, that's like two weeks and a couple days checking in, so uh, see you guys next time. Bye.